For those of you who are considering installing the orchestra or have already done so, I wanted to share a little bit about what this is and a little bit about how it works, how great it is, and perhaps some of you have ran into the issue that I did when I first installed this thing. So I'm going to quickly cover that and then just kind of show you what this thing can do because it's really awesome. Anyway, so the orchestra is basically what you would call a third, car a third party plugin for MIDI software or a third party plugin for a digital audio workstation, which is what I have up here right now. As you can see, I'm using Mixcraft, which is another product that I love. This is what I use to record music for MIDI and for audio together. As you can see, I've got audio tracks here, MIDI tracks here. The orchestra is a sample-based MIDI VST instrument. So it's basically a virtual instrument that's based on samples, and it uses the MIDI to... Um, and basically MIDI, of course, for those of you who don't know, is hooking up your digital piano or your keyboard to the software that I'm using here and allowing the two to talk to each other. So basically using your piano to be a high-end or high-sample based instrument. So with that said, if you purchase the orchestra, one of the main issues that I ran into, first of all, their instructions are pretty good. Uh, but but there was a major major issue that took me a long time to figure out. I uh, even ended up contacting what's the company called uh, Native Instruments and opened a ticket with them and everything like that. But the the main issue was that when following their instructions, what they didn't tell me is that it didn't it didn't extract. I think it's about right here. This this step here for some reason it wasn't giving me an install button so when you when you get down to this step here so you enter in your key and all that stuff you follow their instructions which are pretty good but right here right about here I think is where this button was grayed out so it wasn't allowing me to install it for some reason it wasn't allowing me to activate it within the software and so what I ended up having to do and I don't even know how I figured this out but so yeah, follow their instructions, local disk, users, public, and here's the folder of the orchestra. But when it when it extracts, so one of the, the first steps you do is you right click on this thing and you go extract here, right? Which I've already done, so I'm not gonna do it again. And it creates a folder, but instead of creating one that says the orchestra, it creates one called the orchestra library. And so this step here, it wasn't recognizing it because it has a different name. So I happen to work in the IT industry, and so I, I realized what it was after kind of reading through everything a couple of times. But to me, that's if you're not technical and you're a musician and you're just looking to get this thing working up and running so that you, so that you can be creative, then of course that's going to be a problem. And so, so what I did, of course, I extracted it and I just simply renamed this folder. Uh, rename, which I don't want to do. But you rename it to the orchestra, and then you exit out of, out of Native Instruments, and then you re-log back in, and it should register and let you install it. So that's the first hurdle. Probably the only hurdle, but uh, what... Now let me show you what this thing can actually do. So I use Mixcraft, which is really great, because it allows me to uh, be very creative. And, and to me, that's what this is all about. So with Mixcraft, all you have to do is you have to load your contact. So you're basically going to click on your instrument and uh, your, your, your MIDI instrument. You're going to load up contact. What is wrong with me? Click on contact and then you're going to edit contact. And this comes up, and usually there will be more instruments here. I happen to install them into different locations, which was really dumb. Uh, this is a new computer, newish computer, and so I was kind of piecemealing everything together. But anyway, all your virtual instruments, your VST instruments, should be listed here. 
If not, it's pretty easy to find them. It's not not hard, but uh, it should appear here. And all you got to do is you got to find the orchestra. You can drag it in here, or there's different instruments. You can do strings only if you want. Uh, but I like to use the full orchestra because the the this particular NKI instrument is very powerful. Uh, for me, it's all I need. And so once it's loaded here, um, and you can have multiple instances of it here, you simply click on this thing here, this little arrow, and you point to, you can do animated orchestra, or you can do orchestra colors or rhythms. Rhythms is where you have different instruments playing at different beats. Uh, colors is where you have uh, just a combination of instruments that can give you different effects. And then you have animated orchestra, which is like a whole orchestra doing a lot of different things. So for example, let's take this and let's go Brewing Mischief and let's just see what it can do. Let's just have some fun with it. All I did there was I played a basic C minor, F minor, and then some kind of G chord there suspended and then a, a diminished and added a little bit of dissonance in there. So very fun to use the animated orchestra. Um, and you can add these instruments in one at a time as well to do your own thing.